the Cincinnati Bengals. Coming up.
winning it for the first time. Keep an eye on Joey B. He expects to bring the Super Bowl title to Cincinnati in the near future. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. That'll result here a pick up the bait. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Trubisky on first down. 
Steps away to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a roll. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. That's a lot of what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to win the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. A first carry for Najee Harris. Now hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Exactly 
as he drew it up in practice. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder 
A very good starting field position for the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Now it's Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48.
So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. McPherson's kick it is good. And he'll make it 17 of the year. takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Harris running straight ahead. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. This size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. Now here's another carry for Harris. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Now during that run, an injury here. Yeah, one of those big blockers in some discovery. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. Yeah, not, not 
super huge. Maybe not counted on to be the in, in point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. That's how he'll show the defense. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get him the ball, give him a little momentum. And they're capitalizing off of that. That's a lot of guys. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they go play action now. Burrow. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but the you know, throw left him no room to run. And the good football nearly all for nine. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his big catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. On second down, here's Mixon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. And that will be third down. So if you can play defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. From the gun on third down is Burrow. They'll drop this one down to Mixon. And it'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. I'm not sure that was necessarily a safety foul or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just trying to find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Now Burrow on first down. They'll set up the screen here to Mixon. And they're going to move it down the inside of 25. Boy, that was certainly well done defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was nothing to be found there. And it's happening for just a short game. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46 yard line. But when I looked at him, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Finding Johnson on the out route that's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they were going through through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Yeah. 
They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. To throw again on second down. Trubisky. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals 24 yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him. What do you think, mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Trubisky to throw. Flush to his right. And down inside the 15 he goes. Give him ten that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up the first down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle any time he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as Allen falls to the ground. So another incompletion here. He's only got fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning fall. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Trubisky. Over the middle complete. It's Johnson. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. First and goal, Pittsburgh. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Harris. That's going to go as a rushing down. First and goal. They feel that's taking the Browns, especially the Maryland Downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success. Let's go, let's go. I got you, baby. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now Trubisky to throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Pass from four yards out. And the Steelers get a bit closer. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And it's 17 and 7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Well now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll go down as 
as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back to the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball. And they're being at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. The key to any screen play is a good deception. That means everyone's on the offensive side of the ball. Someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. Pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop the right behind the scrimmage. Kevin so on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty rubbed up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On first down, Trubisky. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Play action. It's Trubisky. Throw to the right. He's got the tight end here, Sternberger. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to swing the tight end free downfield for the completion. Play action. Now Trubisky. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. 
And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Great lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And now because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Trubisky. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Here's Trubisky. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, it's Trubisky. He's got Claypool for a Steeler touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Steelers have cut it back within a score. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished off by the Chase Claypool touchdown catch. Still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You gotta push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. First down, here's Burrow. Open man is Higgins. Go. That's good for a game of six. And that will bring up second down. Second down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They will throw on first down with Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line. That's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. And with that completion, he's now going for 200 yards here in the first half. A 
tough start for the secondary defensive work. It is. It's got to be in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back out the plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And they'll start with a short field following that turnover as they look for points here before the break. on first down. Open man and completes it to Claypool. And in to the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute and a half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will make this a four-point game. They certainly made quick work of that. Ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. first half as the kicks away. This one fielded at the five. And they'll start this drive just across the field. Pretty nice work on the return. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. the shotgun it's Burrow to the sideline and wow what a catch there he doesn't get a lot but he was able to get the feet down complete obviously this has not been a better game for the football so we got to do you got to cut down focus don't you think find the tight end takes some easier completions the interception last drive there he hits the reliable target coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up though, let's take a look at the next gen stat from the first half for the Steelers. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. 
Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. second half. Mm. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but we're going to sit right now in the third quarter. He's had a pretty good game for him. 
Defender choice in the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside. Have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten at the 48-yard line. Now a give running left is Harris. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give the offense a chance. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. There's Trubisky to throw. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. On the right hash, that's a 31-yard attempt. 
Boswell's kick is good. And they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. A successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and ten at their own 14-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for the first down. First down down at the 28-yard line. Inside handoff to Mixon. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I have to think a major focus at halftime makes had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, you put it out to me at half. Seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. They try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Burrow. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And he will bring this down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, Oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they start in the best of all positions, first and goal. The defense gets in the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in, first and goal. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. Throws the out route and finds Quinn for it. Yeah. 
Davis. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, uh, wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. Extra point now by Boswell. And the lead is up to 14. Scoring silver, three play drive. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Well now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now this offense comes back out on the field. Last time out, they had to fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units in there. Got to their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard pick. I'm going to get him to second and four. Well, as far as he's going into this game, there's so much to talk about both sides. They control the line of scrimmage. And we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottle him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. On second down and four, Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins on the left side. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Oh, football one on one there. I just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning there's one down there. First and 10 at the 38. Here's a give to Mixon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the home ball, getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 41, Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he'll be brought back to shoot the midfield for the nine-yard line. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Second down, Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it to the third down inside the field. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Play action. 
action. This goes out wide for Mixon. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys are plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily hard. It just took that point. You guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They want to crouch, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now it's Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Jamal Chase. with Trubisky. He gets it complete to Harris. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the three to the 31. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it's second down. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now in Cincinnati. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Play action. Now Trubisky. Locates Claypool on the crossing route. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 36 yards on the play. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Play action. It's Trubisky. Pass hauled in by the 6'4 tight end Sternberger. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Three yards remain for second down. He'll run with Harris. And he'll get it down this time 
the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, but coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here. But it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 47 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble in the heat than another? And especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop it. Now a first down carry for Harris. It'll be a gain of five as they move closer. It's second and goal. That's a great run right there. First down. Didn't quite get into the end zone. But now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Going to run the toss here to Harris. And he is going to lose yardage here. And goes as a loss of six. And now third down. Mitchell Trubisky's touchdown run. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a very solid return out across the 45 yard line before going out of bounds. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 10 yards there. And he goes in the football. He's going to have a first down. Good yardage on the completion. The scoreboard, they do understand. A field goal is not going to do him any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Oh, 
first down. Here's Burrow. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go. The pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now it's Burrow. Quick slant caught by Chase. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. You get the big lead defensively. Really to give that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And this offense on third down today, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. Burrow just a yard or two shy of the 30. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. That tight end position is just going to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Holding Mr. Referee? Offense. That's on Jackson Carmen, second round pick in Still 2021. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins. And he's going to be taken down at the 28 yard line. He's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for the game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what some defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Again, it's Burrow. He finds his man complete. It's Burrow. And he's going to have the Bengals first down and comfortably scores and gets five there on third of the yard. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you can tell the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you get your man rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from himself. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw to the right side and complete to Hurst. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. I think it's okay that they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve. This build like this guy, big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Mix it up the middle. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They give him 40 yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. It's a game of three. Brings up third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Burrow. 
Open net. It's complete to Higgins. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Correct me if I'm wrong. Down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to run two points in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Burrow. Being chased out left. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort of this out. Illegal touching. Offense. Offense. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should have been able to do Still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They can't beat us straight up. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us on the ground, it's Harris. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. 
And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They come up first and ten. Harris running straight ahead. Has some space here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.